Yo, yo, yo! What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another sick, excited, crazy video. Uh, we're driving in the vet. Uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up button. Quite a few hit the thumbs up button. That means, tells me you guys are making it to the end of the video. That's awesome. And in today's video, and I just got gas also. Uh, so, I'm gonna explain two things. Uh, in today's video or maybe one thing but uh, I will touch on the other thing in the end why 2001 and don't tell me why you're recording any driving there is no absolutely nobody let me see if the camera can uh, hold on a second because there is no turns oh yeah there we go is it shaky a little bit uh, yep a little bit okay let me let me hold the camera in my hand so why a 2001 Corvette why did I buy uh, 2001 C5 Okay, so they made the C5 between 97 to 04 so 97 to, to, to I mean yeah 97 to 2000 in my opinion that that's the third that's the first gen Is that what the car? Look at this guy uh, In 97 to 2000 was um, That's the first gen so it it has 345 horsepower. It's the the car is just they you know they trying to solve the bugs out of the car. They say always it's perfect the first year, second year it's never perfect. So 2001 that's when the second gen, which is uh, 01 to 04, which is better in my opinion. If you're buying one or if you're shopping for a C5, uh, I recommend that. I 2001. It has 345, 350, sorry, 350 horsepower. It's 102 here in Arizona. It was 110 earlier. Um, it has the Z06 intake manifold from the C5 Z06, so that bumps into 350. And um, the Z06 rear end. So right there, that's an upgrade, and it's just the newer, uh, it's the same interior, same body style, but the electronics, like the EBCM, they updated that. The uh, computer, like the com uh, the computer modules they updated that so they had the traction like there is no oh we just hit 43,000 miles exciting day absolutely nobody uh, like the traction my buddy has uh, his traction on and uh, his uh, traction control and what else the stability control on and it's just like again not everybody has these problems, but I prefer 01 to 04 Corvette and it's just a better car overall because these, if you want to rebuild these, uh, you know, the ABCM or all of these parts, the electronics, they don't make them anymore. So I think you gotta buy a used one and I never had the problem because the second gen usually they don't have the problem and if they, if they do, you can rebuild the EBCM or the computer so I'll catch you guys we're almost in the turn let me get on this highway I'll catch you guys when I get home all right got the vet on the trickle charger made it home um, I just want to say that I mean these cars are great you know it's there is if you guys haven't heard and I wanted to stay for a long time every time I forget and it's the perfect video to say it there's that guy, uh, Mark Blackwell. Uh, he's got, ironically, the same color is red. He's got on a C5, 773,000, almost 774,000. And he donated it to the uh, National Corvette Museum. And the engine, uh, all original. Obviously, it's been normal service it's been done. But just to show you, I'm at 42,000 right now. Just to show you how bulletproof these cars are, uh, I was out, I did the transmission fluid today, I did the differential fluid, uh, what else, my clutch fluid, I'll show you guys actually, let's pop the hood real quick, and I'll show you, I'm, I'm telling you why I'm doing these right now, and obviously we need to get done anyway, so, and this is custom built by the way, so, under the hood, it's very clean, if you guys see right here. 
I always like my car clean. I clean the, uh, oh, look how nice. Smoothy smooth. I actually like touching this now. Um, hood liner clean. I hit the cowl back to black. Very clean now. Uh, under the hood. Cleaned it up for the weekend. It's always clean, not even for the weekend. I replaced this, as you guys know. So, I did uh, flush that, the power steering fluid. Uh, that's good to go. I split it usually, this, this is my split. Split the motor in half. So on this side, on my side, which is the driver's side, I split it, see? I got the, this is done and it's good to go, uh, like fluid-wise. Power steering is good to go. Uh, I topped off the washer fluid, although who cares about that, but I, I like my fluids always to be topped off. <laughs> that was extra. Um, I did the clutch fluid, very easy, turkey baster, you suck it out, um, pump the clutch, you fill it up to the line, pump it, suck it, do the same thing again and again until the fluid is uh, fresh. I did the um, brake fluid, so this side, on this half, power steering, brake fluid, clutch, they are done, good to go, but I, I always... I always change them when I see it gets a little bit dirty in there because this is a brand new reservoir so I don't want it to get dirty so uh, these are brand new good to go you go on the other side and I'm gonna change this to K&N &K filter I just gotta clean my K&N that I have and I'm gonna swap this for more I don't know it's better K&N is better filter than the stock stock sucks uh, on this side I got the coolant uh, in my room because if you if you guys know I'm a car guy I keep the car parts in my room because I don't want anybody touching them and I'm doing an oil change so after I do an oil change in coolant and I'm gonna do the filter which is I mean I'm just gonna get the kit today clean the filter let it dry swap it um, that's it under the hood it's brand new battery in here when I got the car so I don't have to worry about that and I keep it on the trickle charger so the battery is always fresh um, yeah oil change coolant fluid wise ignore the filter I'm doing that on the side that's not a fluid uh, and that is it under the hood only two things so to close it I usually do like this go from the middle then ah damn it that's a fail all right it is what it is. The guy touched it at the shop. I gotta clean his fingerprints anyways. Uh, I, I don't slam it, but you just go from the middle and you give it a nice drop. That failed. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so oil change, coolant, uh, I did the different trans. That's the only two fluids left. I don't think there's any more, any, any fluid anymore. So, um, I gotta do those. I got them. I got the fluid. What else? Because I'm getting ready for, that's why I'm doing that. I am getting ready for Monterey Car Week. It is awesome. Stay tuned for the videos. Uh, scroll down on my channel. You will see a couple of videos. They are not the greatest. But I captured Monterey Car Week 2019. And mwah, it was one of the best events. If you're a car person, you need to go to Monterey Car Week. Because it's one of the greatest events on the planet. Even Shmi150, the YouTubers. And by the way, Every automotive YouTuber was there. Daily Driven Exotics, Stradman, who, who can I name? Uh, people even from Arizona came. F-Spot, everybody. Uh, Cross Cross Texas, there too. A lot of big YouTubers were there. Edmund, Houston. So 2021 is going to be a good year. Uh, fuel, I booked on a fuel run, so I'm taking the Corvette on a fuel run. If you don't know what's that, Google fuel run. It's an exotic rally, a um, hundred plus cars. We're gonna drive. I'm gonna drive to LA, then drive to Monterey. So that's why I'm getting the car ready. Also, it's brand new tires. So the tires are good. Alignment is good. Different trans are good. Fuel filter is good. A lot of fluids are good. Uh, the car is ready to go. We're ready to drive. I just gotta change these fluid. I got the sway bar link ends. I gotta change too because these are worn out and we are ready to roll out just an over general i know sorry the background is very boring it's our wall here 
we need to do something on well just get it like Corvette parking only but um, I put the bra on it when I drove it today because here in Arizona there's a lot of rock chips and it sucks so what else I got to do to this thing oh bad news my throat bearing I think the mechanic said because uh, it's making noise since I bought it so maybe that's gonna be the thumbnail of this video like this sorry I just gotta get a screenshot um, is on its way out so it's it's not it's on, on its way out it's just making noise and it's it's not bothering me but it's like whoa like it's right it's very minimal rattling noise when the car is hot or when the car is cold I'm not, I'm not even sure you can you can barely hear it so but when you turn off the car it rattles you can hear it so I gotta replace that but for now we are why your tires are sticky it's probably of that construction all right so yeah 2001 Chevy Corvette 700 and the guy was I think his was 2000 so 01 to 04 in my opinion uh, the best years no electric problems um, my heads-up display works every single thing works in my car because when it breaks I fix it right away I don't let it accumulate some people let, let it accumulate uh, I'm changing the spark plugs also when it gets cool outside so probably in December I'm gonna change the spark plugs uh, because this car is original and everything is original on it uh, that's it for today's video you guys please go ahead give me thumbs up on this video because YouTube algorithm and how it works and recommends the video for more people to watch and I get more subscribers and I can continue to push the videos and if you guys subscribe hopefully I can get some revenue from that watch the videos watch it to the end and when I reach a thousand subscribers hopefully or later on we will supercharge the vet uh, if you guys support me thumbs up subscribe please turn on the post notifications so uh, you'll be notified when I drop a new video and other than that um, just getting ready for Monterey pretty much uh, it's in two weeks so stay tuned for these videos they will be awesome uh, I'm not sure if this memory card will be enough on the camera but if not I'll just get one from there and that's it I'll see you guys on the next one peace Whew.